Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Oh, we got a fun one for you today. Got a couple of little images down here when we hover over. We got some text that's going to pop up. And of course you can still click on them, open them in a light box or send them to a URL, whatever you want to do with your images. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Uh, let's go down. I'll just delete this row and we'll start from scratch. Little green tab for a row. I'm going to hit the trash can. Let's put a new row in. I guess I'll use two columns again. And inside, I'm going to pop a little image module. And obviously, you want to go and select an image. Just click on the placeholder image there. And select whatever image you want to pop in. Okay, we're going to go over to the Advanced and Custom CSS tab here. We're going to go into the Module Elements. We're going to roll down to the After block right here. Okay, so what we want to do is put some content on top of this. So I'm going to say Content, Colon. We're going to open some inverted commas here. And you can put in whatever content you want. We'll say... Old smiling wizard. And we'll put a little semicolon on the end. You may have noticed it's popped in just down the bottom there. You can barely see it there. So we want to position it where we want it. And you can position it wherever you wish on your image. So let's say position. Colon absolute. You may have noticed it's popped up to the right hand side over here. So let's put it where we want it. I am kind of want mine down the bottom here. So I'm going to say bottom, colon. I'll say about 5% of the image, 5 and the percent sign. We've got it down to the bottom there. And I want it probably halfway across here, or ish. So I'm going to say left, 50%. And the left-hand corner of this is now halfway across. Now, I know you can't see that very well. But we'll change that in a minute. Just notice when I hover over here, it's got that crazy number. That's it. the actual name of this image itself. To get rid of that, still in advance, if we go down to attributes down below, you can either put in something you want it to say, or you can delete it completely. I'm going to delete mine completely, and you'll have nothing when you hover over there, because we really want them to focus on the, the writing that we got here. Okay, well, let's go back into our custom CSS module elements in the after right here. Okay, can't really see that text, so let's give it a color. I'm going to say color. I'm going to make mine white. Obviously, put in whatever hex code you want or RGBA. There we go. We can see that a little bit better now. If you want to make your font size bigger or smaller, you can do so with font size. Let's make it 18 pixels or something like that. That should bring it up a little bit. There we go. If you want to, you can change the font family as well to whatever font family you want to use. I'm going to use what's there, which will be the default font we've been using on this site. But of course, it's not really centered, is it? It's, you know, where over here, the left corner of that is in the center of our image. But we want the middle of it to be in the image. So I can use a bit of transform translate with that. I'm going to say transform, colon, translate. And then open surround brackets. And I want it to move by about half of its width and half of its height. So I'm going to say negative 50%. That's moved it directly in the middle there. That's going to work perfectly for me, I believe. Great. Now, if you've got a busy picture, I think I'm going to pop that up just slightly. So I'm going to say bottom, let's try 10%. That'll work. Uh, if you find your writing's getting lost in your background there, you can make it bold or you can give it a background color. Let's try that. We'll say font weight. Yeah, make it bold. That's thickened it up a little bit. We can give it also a background color. So let's pop down. We'll say background. I'm going to make mine a little bit opaque. So I'm going to make it a bit of a black, which is 0000. zero, zero, zero or six zeros basically. And I'm going to make it say 50 on the end. 
And if you can't see it, we'll put a bit of padding on there. I'm just going to give it 15 pixels all around, 15 pixels. As you can see, that background's appeared in there. If it's not enough for you, you can give it a full color by taking those last two digits off. It'll be full black there. Or if you want it a bit thicker, but still see a bit through, let's maybe put it up to 90% by putting 90 on there. And you can still see some of that image through there. And because we've added a bit of padding there, it's jumped it up a little bit. You can always readjust in your bottom here. If you want to take it down a bit, try eight pixels or something like that. Get it how you want it. Now you may find if you add more text that the letters get a little jumbled up. Let's just add a little bit more up here. We'll say making magic. If we look down here, those words have kind of jumbled up and getting stuck on top of each other. We can counter that by giving this a fixed width. We can make this little container wider, say about 80% or whatever works for you. So down under our padding here, put a semicolon. I'm just going to say width, perhaps 80%, 80 and a percent sign. Great. Well, that's spread it out, but I want my text to be in the middle. So we're going to center align it. So we'll say text align center that's popped it back in the middle there fantastic and any of this, these things that you don't want if you don't want it bold or just select it delete it if you don't want a background on there select it delete it obviously put in the color that you want in there if it's too much padding for you take it down or delete it if you delete the padding though you're not going to see that background and the width obviously if 80 is too much for you take it down or whatever works for you that still works right there and if you want to make it stand out a little bit more, you can put a little border around there. And I'm going to say one pixel solid. I'm going to make mine white. It's got a little border around there. And we've had a lot of things on this site. We've sort of had the curly rounded corners on there. If you want to do that, that's border radius, border dash radius. And we'll make that 50 pixels and that'll make it nice and round just like that. Okay, well that's working. I think it needs to be a little bit wider there. So let's take that width up to 70 maybe. Obviously adjust to your taste. But of course we don't want to see this at all until we're hovering over it. Unless you want it there all the time. So very simple thing to do. I'm just going to select it all. Control C to copy or right click and copy, however you like to do it. If we roll up over the dark writing where it says after there, comment all Divi modules if you roll over those things, some little icons appear. If there's an arrow, you can set a desktop state, which is when the mouse is not on it. We don't want to see it there, so I'm going to get rid of it there. But we want to see it when they hover over it. So if you click on the hover tab now, I'll just paste everything that we've done in there. I did it on the desktop state so we could see it as we were working. And once you've got that in there once, you don't have to repeat it. We'll just copy all this. Control C to copy again. We'll save our changes here. Put another image in next door or just duplicate this image, whatever works for you. There's an image. Select another image. And I think we used that last time. Whatever you want to use, obviously. Then over to the advanced. Custom CSS, into module elements again. And then we need to go to our hover state, little arrow right there, hover tab, and we'll paste our code in there. And there it is. Obviously, you want to change out your content. Whatever you want to put in yours, obviously. And of course, it's changed. Really easy to do, rinse and repeat for any of your images you want. When you're happy, save it. And don't forget, I'll put all this code down below for anybody who wants cut and paste, modify it to your needs, use it how you wish. So I'm going to save draft. I'm going to exit the visual builder. And let's go down. And there's our little wizard there. When we hover over that, writing's come up. I've not put a link or a light box in here, but you can put either or in. 
And over here, we got our little UFO. And I didn't delete the title there. You know how to do that attributes over in advance. And again, I've got no link. But of course, it's got that text popping up there. So that's a cool little feature to have on your website. Really easy to do, as you can see. And don't forget, I'll put any code that I write down below this video. And you're welcome to copy paste it. Use it how you wish. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.